just two of my box turtles that decided to come out and eat some of my uh, ground up filet of carp. Wonderful protein source full of omega-3 fish oil and uh, ground up bones. There's a few bones that get ground up in it and uh, it's a really good food for them. They grab a bite and then they run away to the shade to devour it. I usually tap on the tabletop to see who else. Hey, I got food for you guys. Come on. Natasha is going to come out in a few minutes and uh, enjoy some sun, I think. She's, uh, it got down to 59 degrees last night, and uh, she's right up here. She uh, burrowed in underneath that uh, achelia plant there. She'll be coming out and enjoying a little bit of the sunshine here very shortly. She weighs over 2,000 grams. I think it's uh, uh, 2,400 grams. Oh, let's see. No, she's she weighs over five pounds. Let's get it in English measurement. I uh, she's just over five pounds six ounces. She is huge compared to my male Russian tortoise. Looks like. Uh, Another turtle came in to get a bite to eat here. So this is a little male box turtle, ornate box turtle. I got food for you. Come on. Come and get it. I've given them some nectarines this morning and some peaches, some uh, grape leaves, some grapes, uh, and uh, their protein today is this uh, carp, ground up carp. There's another one. Wondering if I'm going to get out of here. As soon as I move away from the enclosure, he'll probably come out. I think this is another little male. They're not real motivated by food this time of year. There goes a male just going into another hide. This girl looks like she's had just about enough food for today. All these turtles uh, hibernate outside. Uh, the hibernation chamber is actually directly underneath this particular turtle that I have in frame right now. Well, here comes, the, I think, another little male. You can tell the males from the females by the color of their eyes and their tail. That's definitely a male. He must have red eyes. I can't really see the color of the eyes on this one, but I'm sure you can. If they're not red, it's most likely a female. There's a little group of uh, four of them right down there. There's a 
some hiding areas. These are all turtles I grew from hatchlings. That I incubated and hatched. Now I take that back. That one right there, that's Ornetta. She's a very old box turtle. I wonder if this guy's going to make it around that without falling off the precipice. Looks like he will. Oh, here's Boris. He's coming out for a little walk around. He likes to hang out close to uh, Natasha in the mornings. Sometimes he does a little head bobbing and we'll see if he turns right here. You should be able to see Natasha. I'm hoping for a little love action between them. Oh, he's going to eat some of that uh, peach. He walked up into the shade there. When I got Boris, this uh, Russian horsefields uh, tortoise, uh, he was very much underweight and uh, all he wanted to do the first month that I had him was just eat. And he does eat a variety of foods, you know, because it's a box turtle enclosure and Russian tortoise enclosure. I've read online that it's not a good idea at all to keep the two species together, but uh, Natasha's been doing really well in my enclosure with a variety of foods being offered. And uh, and I don't think that the experts are always right on everything. This is, he's chosen to eat some dried up old leaf material. That's amazing. He's got all kinds of good stuff to eat. Just did that a little bit. Natasha's just still up there. Closing her eyes sometimes. She uh, might be a little bit fatter than is healthy, but uh, maybe she's just uh, thinking that in another couple months she's going to start hibernating. is going to walk over to Natasha now. This video is at eight minutes now. This is pretty long. I figure whoever's, I don't know, watching the video, they can decide whether to fast forward or not. I think I might be getting some interesting action between the two of them this morning. But no, looks like he's just going to go in to get out of the sun here for a minute. Natasha looked over at him, but uh, he's not doing any of his regular head bobbing. Him crawling in behind her might give her the incentive to come out and get some more sunlight this morning. Turtles are pretty boring creatures. They move so slowly at times, uh, they can move pretty quickly and disappear very easily. If you put them outside their enclosure and take your eyes off of them for 10 minutes, my bet is that you won't be able to find them again. They're masters at uh, just getting and moving away from where you leave them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about turtles or raising box turtles or uh, tropical fish or koi, you feel free to ask. I, I try to answer my questions. I have a lot of experience, but I'm not an expert.